Hello everybody and welcome to part 30 of Pokemon Fire Red. This video is brought to you by GameAnyone.com and Machinima. In the last part we caught Moltres and beat off a bunch of bikers trying to take over 3 Island. So today we'll be going through Bond Bridge, seeing what else is here other than grass and what doesn't really look like to be a bridge. So we got a double battle starting things off here. We'll teach you what uh, our po favorite Pokemon is. Oh my god, I can talk there for a second. This is like the third part I've recorded today. This is my last day off, and I'm like, oh man, I should record some Clefairies? Really? Good thing I have a fighting type with me. And Grotus. Brick Break. And not bite. How about Surf? That is my most powerful move after all. And you guys can at least have Clefables. Sometimes the Pokemon choice is like really weird. Man, I should really also record some Rhystar today. I haven't done that in a while. Sorry if Rhystar and uh, Mario Kart haven't been uploaded. Mario Kart has some issues, so I'll have to do like post commentary with uh, the last two videos I recorded. So, and I hate to do that because it's just, it'll look funny because you won't hear the game. And ooh, new Pokemon for us to catch a Psyduck. Nice of you to. That's not my bag. Nice of you to join us. Let's see if we can catch you without doing anything to you first. Okay, so far. Really? You Pokemon put up more of a fight than the legend types, and you use confusion. Which did a lot for being like, what, 10 levels weaker than me? Um, 15 levels weaker than me, and not having Psychic as one of your typings. I still think that they should have been Water Psychic types, but they never did change that. But now we have Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Which is pretty much what it says in every Pokemon game. It's one of the more boring of the Pokemon. Max Repel. Hmm, cool. Ooh, a trainer. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Are you a beauty by chance? Ooh, Aroma Ladies! Added into this game, and oh great, we have poison types again. Bulbasaur. Rock Slide. I'm probably gonna use a different Pokemon to defeat the next Pokemon because grass and poison type just aren't the best. Yeah, I knew you're gonna use Ivysaur. So mm -hmm. Bonga, let's go. I didn't really know who to use. You send out this Ivysaur. Nice violet. And I've always noticed that Rumble Ladies are generally named after flowers. Until you reach like really late in the game and then when you run into one they have like normal people names. Like I don't mean like normal people names, but you know, non-flower type names like Violet, Rose, uh, Magnolia, you know, things that are named after flowers. Just like um winter, summer. You never see spring. You see autumn, but you never see winter as a I mean spring is a name. I don't know what what gender that would be. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, a uh, little tuber. Yay, yay, Pokemon! Hmm. Also, once again, added to this game. This is another uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald character, Alexis Staryu. Level 34, are you guys trying to make me laugh? These Pokemon are just too weak. I think she also has Poliwags. So she's not a good Pokemon by any means. I mean, Pokemon trainer by any means. Star you again. I guess Bond Bridge is that little bridge that we've seen going across the water. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh no, sorry, she is Krabby, which oh, we fought one a long time ago, I think. Let's use a Brick Break on it. Nice, goodbye, Crabzola. You know what? I want some crab now. Crabby's making me hungry. Some delicious crabby legs smothered in hot butter. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm thinking about crabs. What happens now? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, yes, there's her. She comes with not having a bikini. I think that's the only other. What are you doing? My mommy said that I can't swim without my float ring. 
Well, if you can't swim, then I highly uh, recommend that you do wear your tube. Oh no, you're the polywag girl. I knew somebody around here had polywags. I don't know which one it was though. Awesome, thank you for the experience. And thank you for the level to 47. And Polywirl is next, eh? And Mira, you guys all have good names too. I wonder how much that does. Quite a bit of damage, that is true, my homies. And another Polywag to finish things off. I'm gonna use Rock Slide! Yep, everything went according to plan. Well, for me, not for them. Wah, wah! Okay, one last trainer out here. Oh, you did see me. The salty tang of the sea, it tickles my heart. Hmm. That's nice to know. Uh, Nikki, oh man, you actually have a normal name. Nikki. Rise, show this little freaking flower who's boss. Because, you know, it's actually a flower, even though it looks like a weed. 666, it's the devil's Pokemon. To do just to make things fun, since I don't think there's really going to be any trainers left, I don't think there's any trainers coming up, I'm going to use Blast Burn! Boom, oh, I love that negative fire attack there. Like, the second blast is awesome. It's just such a fantastic move. That something smells unpleasant. It's because I charcoal your Pokemon. Now, we made it to Berry Forest. Let's go. Oh no, it's it's the Viridian Forest again. Uh, be friendly and share berries with others in Pokemon. Yes, there are lots of spots that have berries. Like right here. Nothing, it's a false one. This one? Yep, there's an orange bear here. Some of them are fake. This place likes to trick you. I don't really want to use the uh, cut there to cut down the Jenga shortcuts. Simply because I actually might find Pokemon I could use on my team or in from my Pokedex. Or both. Pineapple Berry, another one? No, nothing. Fake. Um, Spear Berry? Or a Spear? There's an item down there, but we have to go all the way around and hop down. Venomoth! Outside of the Safari Zone! So it might actually be easier to catch you now that you're not, you know, able to run away or, you know, I get sucky safari balls. Well, then again, you might be just as annoying. And you do Psybeam. It makes it even worse. Like, look at that damage. You're a poison bug type. You shouldn't be doing that much. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! My favorite bug type was caught. I think I'm thinking of actually using it competitively on X and Y. The Poison Moth Pokemon. The wings are covered with dust-like scales. Every time it flaps its wings, it looses highly toxic dust. Hmm. Pretty wicked. Not gonna lie on that one. A berry. Blackberry. Black black. Ooh, another Pokemon. I wonder who it could be. Pidgeotto! Nice of you to drop in too. Another Pokemon I'm weak against, but let's see if we can catch it too. Come on, cross your fingers, hope to die. I'm dying! Whirlwind, aww! I didn't even get to catch you. Berry? Yay, yeah, a wet berry berry, or weepier. No, ooh, there is one, cherry berry. <laughs> cherry berry. Um, yeah, to get up there you have to hop down. I do that on the way back, and well, another side duck. I don't need you. I caught you back outside. Au revoir, Master Duke. Oh, Barry. Oh, I already got that one, right? There is an item down here, though. I know that. I think side in the water, too, so, you know. Ooh, double. Ooh, there's lots of cutting here. Aren't there something good? Ooh, Pokemon right before the tree. Ah, Pidgeotto, you made your triumphant return. But, will it be very triumphant when I catch you and shove you into my PC? I don't think so. Ok, 
GTA. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. That Pidgeotto's going to the PC. Can't be a tiny bird Pokemon anymore, could it? The bird Pokemon. The claws on its feet are well developed. It can carry prey such as an execute to its nest over 60 miles away. Oh, really? You would have took my baby and ate it? You sick bird. Okay, anyway, let's cut down this tree. I know there are two more Pokemon we can catch here. One of them was actually suggested by LP Girls to use on my team. But I had ideas for using the Bonga for a while. And oh no, it might be the Pokemon we're talking about. Ah, oh, never mind, it's Oddish. If you think of it, Oddish would be almost anywhere there's grass. Only sounds normal. Okay, one tree left in an item. This item better be worth it. Is it worth it? Oh, I guess it is, for, especially for like the, the Elite Four when you can't heal. Like, you know, can't use um, a Pokemon Center, you have to use your items. They heals all your PP, like I mean every piece of PP you have, it fully heals it. So you could be zero on all four moves and gain it back. Okay girls, let's surf across this water again. Hmm. What's this say? Beware of wild, berry loving Pokemon. Really? Ah, you must be Lostel! <laughs> oh, please help! A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago! It kept scaring! It made Lostel scared! I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home! Oh, here it comes again! No! Go away, it's scaring me! Wah! I want my daddy! Ah, uh, I judge you by that sound, it's Hypno! Aha! You big nose losers scaring little girls! You're weaker than the Pokemon in this area, so eat Ultra Ball! Oh my lord, it broke out! Oh no, it knows confusion! Wow, buddy, I have to say the Psyduck does better. Have another Ultra Ball to the head, because you see it's hitting its giant forehead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about again. Hypno, the Hypnotic Pokemon. I don't think it's a hypnotic Pokemon, but... Hypnosis. It carries a pendulum-like device. There was once an incident in which it took away a child it hypnotized. Whoa, these things kidnap children? They're not safe. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Lostel came to pick some berries. You can have this. Yeah, and I have Papa Berry. What's your name? Lostel's scared, so... Can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. No, I forgot to grab that berry. Yes, I did rescue her. Thank you. I think he gives us a moonstone. Oh, what's that? You're saying this is for me? Oh, yes, this is the guy we had to deliver the item to. Now I think he gives us a moonstone in return. Yeah, a moonstone. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, now all there is left to do is to fly back to uh, Bill. Which means, because now we can actually go across. This one should actually- oh, it does say Cape Brink. Anyways, let's go back to one island. So hopefully the PC is operational in the future. Man, this is like, what, the third episode on these islands? Oh, hey, Solar. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? We got it done, the PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill's one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. So we should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. Solar, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Which he actually never does. He does let you go to, you know, new places. But he never does let you uh, do anything there. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. Now, like I said before, there's actually one thing I want to do before we go take on the final gym. Because you guys all know it's coming down to that, who's the final gym leader, when are we going to take it down, it'll be next episode. So part 31 will have the gym. But I gotta make sure, is everyone the proper level? 47s. Okay. 
because we have a little bit of exploring to do off to the right of Cinnabar Island. The other way to the Seafoam Islands. Now, um, let me see here, where are my revives? I mean, not revives, repels, oh, sorry. Did, that, did I have 50, 50 super potions? Oh, I do too, and I never use them. Okay, this part will probably just speed up. Just because it's a bunch of battling trainers again. And they're all water trainers, and I think by this level they're actually pretty weak. 31s, like that is just pathetic. Ain't nothing you can do about it. But, you know, we could have came here earlier to train. But, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. That many water types in a row just gets old really fast. I wonder if a brick break now is enough to take down a sea king. I hope it is. Oh, it is now. That's great. Great news. Ah, you're gone. Wait! You're supposed to wait! I'm um, not in a Pokemon battle. We're supposed to, you know, duke it out. Uh, how about you? You swam here? But why aren't you a swimmer? That's what makes no sense. Is they put a picnicker here? Yet. She's exactly like a swimmer. She swam here. She's a water Pokemon. Wouldn't that just make more sense? Last turn you used a Sea King, you're using Goldeen. Do you think of how it would have been? No idea of like Poliwhirl? No, what is with these Sea Kings? They're getting old. Now, uh, let's use another Brook Break. Brook Break looks lamer on the newer games, because it's just like a hand that comes down Karate Chops. But it does show you breaking. Actually, it shows you breaking barriers on all the games. Well, at least you do give me more money than swimmers. So that is the one thing I hate about the swimmers, is the lack of money. Isn't there, like, somebody up here? Nobody up there. Hey, you. Hey, 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 you. Your buff physique. I bet you look like a scrawny toothpick. You do look like a scrawny toothpick. Yay. And star you. A level 35 star you? Man, I'll just use strength on that. I should easily finish it off. Yeah, that was no problem at all. Almost 48 though, which is great news. <laughs> Wimpy. That you are, buddy, that you are. What are you? Your boyfriend gave you big pearls. Must be rich, or you found him in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, wait, no, you have Pokemon that produce pearls. Can actually be produced by Shelter, they actually spit them out. Which is funny that they never had a move like that, that, you know, kind of tied in them their ability to make pearls. But, level 48. It's beautiful to see my Pokemon growing so high. Ah, uh, Cloyster. Um, Grotus, you know what? I mean, not Grotus. Bonga. You love taking down these Cloysters. I know you are. Uh, I know you do, buddy. So, eat Bullet Seed. Protect, eh? Mm, but you know, that just gets really annoying because it's such a stupid move. It just takes up more time than is needed. Because you're just didn't, you're just slowing the inevitable. You're not stopping it at all. Goodbye, stupid shellfish. Now who's next? Shelter. You're not very good either. One bullet sheet should be enough to take you down, sheet. Shell it sheet, should she shell, shoo shake you shout. Yeah, that's if everything to start with a sh. Oh no, my pearls were in. Ah, your Pokemon are the pearls. I knew it. Okay, to do, let's go. And water trainers. Wait a minute. This looks like a bird keeper. Ah, you are a bird keeper. Awesome. How many bird Pokemon do you actually have? Three. Starting things off with a Fearow. Yeah, only level 30 though. That's that's really low. But, it's still a pretty decent experience. Think of that, we're like pretty much fighting level 4s. We still haven't really fought trainers in the 40s yet, though. And we're almost in the 50s, but... Trust me, the being a higher level is helpful. Because I know in Black 2 right now, I'm actually really behind in level. Like, you'll be ahead on the trainers, but as soon as you get to like the gyms in the town, the Pokemon out-level you, and you're like, what? How did this happen? I was higher by like almost 10 levels and now I'm weaker. Or the same level as you. Like, right now I'm using Darumaka 
um, Duod and Muna. I can't evolve my Muna now because I got a Moonstone from the Dream Radar. But like, they one hit KO most of my Pokemon since they're low stats. Really bums me out. It makes it hard to keep playing the game. While X and Y have like Celebi and Tornadus and stuff that can do all the work for me. This is another way into Seafoam Islands, but this is actually the useless way that you don't want to go. Are you on a vacation too? You probably find items and stuff in there, or you can find items and stuff in there, but I really don't feel like doing that. So, yeah. Tentacool. Nice of you to finally actually end up in a trainer battle instead of finding you while surfing. Okay, who's next? Horsey, one of the weakest water type Pokemon you could possibly get in this game, and you, you're using it again. And being only level 30 means no experience. Well, we get experience, but next to nothing. And Seal, which is actually a technical first trainer you're supposed to see Seal on. But let's use a Blast Burn, just to overkill it. Because it has 150 power. Well, it's not very effective, so it lost some, but... Yay! No mercy at all. So that pretty much does it for this video. I am going to show you guys where the last gym is. Here at Viridian City. So, in the next episode, we will be taking on the 8th and final gym leader. Thank you guys all for watching, Solar Warlock.